Hey Shapola, my name's Kerrigan Hollis, welcoming you to CCTV. Stay tuned for this week's campus news. Saturday night was an exciting night for Shapola basketball. Our men's team beat TCC 68 to 60, making them the back to back to back to back panhandle champions. I really appreciate you. In my four years here, our record at home is 60 and three. And that has to do because we got the greatest fans in junior college basketball. So thank you very much for all you do and for being here today. Go Indians. The women's team also won big with a final score of 99 to 41 against TCC. Both teams are headed to the state tournament, which begins March 13th and is hosted at Northwest Florida in Niceville, Florida. And depending on how the state tournament goes, they head to the national tournament. Mark your calendars for Chipola's annual spring frolics on April 4th. Classes will be dismissed from noon until 2.45 for all students to come. The SGA and other organizations will have lots of fun activities, including music, games, giveaways, and free food. We are continuing with our future focus theme at Chipola, and last Friday, despite the rain, we had a great turnout at the career fair. There were representatives from different businesses and industries throughout our area, and students from Chipola and from area high schools learned about future careers that are in high demand. Chipola had incredible participation at this year's transfer day, sponsored by Chipola SSS. Students got to meet recruiters and representatives from different schools to learn about their opportunities for their future. Chipola's fifth annual Poetry Cafe will be held on April 4th in the Center of the Arts. This year's guest speaker is Rick Campbell. Chipola softball will have six straight home games before starting conference games next week, so now is the time to come and watch them play. Due to the bad weather this weekend, the baseball games against Northwest Florida have been moved to Thursday at 5 and Friday at 2. We hope you come out to cheer on our Indians. After the baseball games on April 4th, we will have a fireworks finale. If you attended last year, you know this was a great fireworks show, so come out and enjoy all of America's favorite pastime at Jeff Johnson Field. That's all for this week's campus news. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next week.